Coach, regardless of starts, how your team starts games or momentum shifts, there seems to be a, quite a high level of confidence amongst your players right now. Well, I think, uh, you know, uh, games are, are made up of ups and downs. And, uh, you know, I think sometime when you could weather the storm, uh, I thought we had some, some good moments of time. Other times we... Uh, you know, we made some mistakes. Uh, I thought we had a pretty good second period, but uh, you know, we gave them a, like the one goal was a, a mistake by us. And uh, but I thought overall, uh, you know, we competed, competed hard, and um, you know, got uh, you know, got the, uh, the big goal, got the comeback in the in the third, and then a big goal in the, in overtime. Uh, the second period started with a brief power play that led to some momentum, and you had also made a subtle change with your wingers, uh, putting Ridley Gregg up on the second line and, and Matthew Joseph on the third. It seemed to create something. Yeah, I, th I thought uh, I just didn't like uh, Timmy's line in the first period. I thought that they, they were struggling, and, you know, I, I thought, uh, you know, maybe switching, bring Ridley on that line. I thought Matthew wasn't, you know, was struggling, so I, I figured... You know, getting him down on another line, and I thought it helped both players. I thought really played better uh, with uh, Timmy and uh, Giroux, and uh, Joseph gave us a better performance too with uh, with Zach and uh, Kubalik. Yeah, ask the obvious. What did you see from your captain here today? Well, a great game, you know, and uh, I thought you know the really good production, the three goals, but uh, I think he had six shots overall. So. I think it's a good uh, example for the rest of the players. You know, you put pucks at the net, uh, you get a chance they're going to go in. And uh, you know, I thought I thought it was a strong performance. But I also thought that our D played a strong game too. I thought they gave us, you know, we, we I thought we we had our gap played our gap much better tonight against this team and uh, made it a little more difficult for them to to enter our zone. Got a little scare when Jake Sanderson went down. Any update on him? He obviously finished the game. But... Yeah, they finished the game, so I think uh, I don't have any update yet, but hopefully he'll be okay tomorrow. And uh, it's a third straight game now with extra time. Uh, what can uh, some of the younger players take from uh, three wins like that? Well, I think uh, it's good experience. It shows that, you know, you've, you've got to stay with it and uh, be composed and, uh, you know, go right to the end. So I, I think uh, it's, it's nice to win those games because... Uh, you know, it's kind of rewarding to get that extra point. And uh, I felt that, uh, you know, we've played much better, uh, I think, defensively as far as uh, chances against uh, in the last three games. And I think the results uh, have shown for that. Shane, am I safe to assume the next best thing to scoring a game winner in your hometown is picking up the primary assist on a game winner? Yeah, uh, cool moment for sure. Um, you know, once I gave it to Brady, I was pretty sure he's going to put that in. And, uh, Big game for our captain and big game for our team. So it was a good one. Yeah, the thought of sticking to it here is uh, sort of a reverberating uh, phrase here over the last couple of games here, and yep. obviously it was needed again today. Yeah, you know, I thought we had uh, good composure throughout the game. You know, a couple of things didn't go our way, you know, especially at the end there with that penalty, but stuck with it and uh, got the job done. So that's all that matters. What are you seeing from the entire team's play here of late? Yeah, just confidence. I think, uh, you know, when you win a few games, you start feeling good and the confidence starts to get going a little bit. So, you know, we got a big game tomorrow and hopefully we can keep the confidence going. And not just confidence uh, from the top players, but right, right through the lineup. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you want to win in this league, you need depth and um, everyone's pulling on the rope and it's good to see. So just got to continue with the consistency and keep putting forth good efforts. Got to ask you how many friends, family uh, were in attendance here today? Yeah, I'd say about 50 plus. Oh. So I got to say hi to all of them. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> they know it's St. Pat Patrick's Day tomorrow. Oh, I'm sure they do. I'm sure they have a... <laughs> A few beverages there, so we'll see how it goes. This is a game that was marked in your calendar a while ago. Yeah, yeah, obviously, you know, I got to have dinner with my family last night, and uh, definitely a cool moment. It, it was a while since I played here, so I definitely circled it, so it was good ending for sure. What can you say about the way Corpus Allo played tonight? Yeah, yeah, he was big for us. I think uh, we needed a lot of saves there at the end. They were pushing hard, and he came up big for us. He's been playing super well for us, and um, it's definitely good to see. Just make going into tomorrow's game a little bit easier here, obviously, with, with the confidence that you have. Yeah, yeah. You know, Canes are a good team. You know, they're off a of back-to-back -back as well, so I'm sure it's going to be a game, good game, and just got to bring a forward a good effort. All right, Brady, walk us through this one here. First, the overtime um, looked exhausting. <laughs> Must have been, but uh, what a pass, first of all, from Shane Pinto. Great pass. Um, I know that probably feels good for him, playing in front of uh, family and friends here, and... Uh, 
um, yeah, it was, it was a great comeback for our team. So um, we'll take it and uh, build on tomorrow. You heard those comments after the uh, Columbus game. Great comeback for your team here. The plan of sticking to it here just seems to be um, catching on. Yeah, I think uh, no matter kind of the moment in the game, um, there's an opportunity and we've been capitalizing on them so, um, to kind of get us back into the game. So credit to, you know, like you said, the guys sticking together and, and just um, – um, you know, keep going every single shift. Any one of those three goals more special than the other? Well, obviously the winner, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean... Uh, feels good. Yeah, I mean, it just feels good to kind of get the overtime uh, over with and, and get ready uh, for a back-to-back -to -back tomorrow. Uh, the power play goal that you scored, that too was that stick to it. Uh, same play, you hit a post, and then it comes right back to you and you do the same. Yeah. On the other side. Yeah, well, I mean, that play doesn't happen if kind of Tricky doesn't give himself up on the back door because then that D's got to make a decision, so... Um, no credit to him, credit to Timmy for making um, two great passes there. Let's just make a, tomorrow night's game. This is a back-to-back -back here. Does it make tomorrow night's game, uh, I won't say a little easier, but you got more confidence going in? Whew, I mean, they're, they're a wagon of a team. So, um, I mean, there's never an easy game here. So, I think for us, it's just about recovering as much as we can um, tonight, tomorrow morning, then be ready to go for 6 o'clock. Thanks for this. Thank you.